Lecture 1-5, The Mole and Molar Mass. The mole is the amount of a substance that contains as many elementary entities or particles as there are atoms in exactly 12 grams of carbon-12. That was the old definition. It is our unit of measurement for the laboratory. It is our counting number for atoms, molecules, ions, and such. It is also called Avogadro's number, in subscript capital A. It is now defined as a number as 6.022 times 10 to the negative 23rd constituents. And here down at the bottom is the exact number that you can use if you want to be exact. So what the mole does for us is it takes us from the atomic level and brings us to the macroscopic level. In a reaction such as hydrogen reacting with oxygen to make water, we would say two molecules of hydrogen plus one molecule of oxygen makes two molecules of water. That is on the atomic scale. However, on the macroscopic scale, what we would talk about is two moles of hydrogen plus one mole of oxygen makes two moles of water. And this relationship can be made because of Avogadro's number. We are simply multiplying a molecule by Avogadro's number to get a mole. The relationship between moles and atoms is given by the mole or Avogadro's number. We can simply look at it this way. If we want to go from atoms to moles, we take one mole and divide by Avogadro's number. Or if we have moles and we want to go to atoms, we simply multiply by Avogadro's number over one mole. So in the following examples, we will do that. How many atoms of silicon are there in four and a half moles of silicon? Simply to go from moles to atoms, we multiply by Avogadro's number over one mole to get 2.71 times 10 to the 24th, and that is atoms of silicon. Next question, how many moles of silicon are there in 2.54 times 10 to the 45th atoms of silicon? Again, to go from atoms to moles, we take that number and multiply it by one mole divided by Avogadro's number and get that the answer is 4.07 times 10 to the 21st moles of silicon. So how many atoms are found in 4.50 moles of sodium? Well, to go from moles to atoms, we follow this pathway, which tells us to multiply by an Avogadro's number of atoms divided by one mole. So 4.50 moles of sodium times 6.02214 times 10 to the 23rd atoms per mole. The moles cancel out giving us 2.71 times 10 to the 24th atoms of sodium. So how many moles of sodium are in 2.45 times 10 to the 25th atoms of sodium? So here we're going to start with atoms and go to moles. So in essence, what we're going to do is divide by Avogadro's number. So 
0.45 times 10 to the 25th atoms of sodium times one mole over 6.02214 times 10 to the 23rd equals 40.7 moles of sodium. So here are some definitions. The atomic mass is the mass of one atom of an element in atomic mass units. Uh, the unified atomic mass unit basically has a current value of 1.6605390040 times 10 to the minus 27 kilograms, and was originally based upon 1 12th the mass of a single carbon-12 atom. However, that's no longer true since we have uh, finished the project wherein the number for the Avogadro's number has been defined. The molar mass is the mass of one mole of a substance, and it is the mass that we see on the periodic table in grams. It also represents the mass of one individual uh, atom on average in atomic mass units, which is basically what it says at the bottom down here is that one atomic mass unit is the same as one gram per mole. And the relationship, because of it being based upon uh, carbon-12, is no longer the actual reason because of the uh, uh, Avogadro project. So, getting the molar mass for a few example items or elements. Here we have copper metal. Copper is element number 29. And if we look on a periodic table, we see that it has a molar mass of 63.55. And that can either be in atomic mass units or in grams per mole. Helium gas, element number 2, 4.003 grams per mole. And finally, calcium metal, which is element number 20, is 40.08. Again, it can either be atomic mass units or grams per mole. To move between mass and moles, we are going to use the molar mass as defined on the periodic table. So if we have the mass of an element, and we want to know how many moles, we simply take the mass of the element and essentially divide it by its molar mass. If we have moles, basically what we're going to do is multiply by the molar mass. So let's look at a couple examples. First one is calculate the mass found in 4.5 five zero moles of silicon that mass is 4.05 moles the molar mass looking up on the periodic table is 28.909 grams silicon per one mole of silicon and the final calculation gives 126 grams of silicon now looking at the question, how many moles are in 2.45 times 10 to the 25th grams of silicon? So here we're going to take the mass of silicon, 2.45 times 10 to the 25th grams, and essentially we're dividing by the molar mass. One mole of silicon divided by 28.09 grams to get our final answer of 8.72 times 10 to the 25th third moles of silicon. 
Next, let's calculate the mass in four and a half moles of sodium. So 4.50 moles sodium. And we're going to multiply that by the molar mass found on the periodic table, which is 22.99 grams per one mole. So the units of moles cancel out. And to three significant figures, the answer is 103 grams of sodium. How many moles of sodium are in 2.45 times 10 to the 25th grams of sodium? Now we're going to basically divide. We're going to take the 2.45 times 10 to the 25th and one mole divided by 22.99 grams will give two three significant figures 1.07 times 10 to the 24th moles of sodium. Combining the two previous processes together we can start at atoms over here on the left and find out the mass of a certain number of atoms by taking two steps. The first step essentially calculates moles and the second step finishes off and calculates mass. Or we can go the other way. We can start out with mass, convert that to moles, and then finally from moles to atoms. And as you can see here, the conversion factors are, are written in to remind you to go from atoms to moles. Basically, we're dividing by Avogadro's number. To go from moles to mass, we're basically multiplying by molar mass. To go from mass to moles, basically dividing by molar mass. And to go from moles to atoms, we're basically multiplying by Avogadro's number. So the example down here is, how many atoms can you find in 0 0.551 grams of silicon? And the answer is, to go from mass to moles first, so the 0 0.551 grams of silicon multiplied by, by one mole over 28.09 grams of silicon, which is its molar mass, and then next to multiply that by Avogadro's number in atoms per mole. So the calculation is 0.551 divided by 28.09, and then multiplied by Avogadro's number, 6.02214 times 10 to the 23rd, to give a final answer of 1.18 times 10 to the 22nd atoms of silicon. So let's answer this question. How many atoms are in 0 0.551 grams of sodium? So we're going to take, again, the 0 0.55 one grams of sodium and essentially divide it by the molar mass of sodium which is 22.99 grams per mole and then we're going to multiply that number by Avogadro's number 6.02214 times 10 to the 23rd atoms per mole giving a number of 1.44 times 10 to the 22nd atoms of sodium.